Hi guys and ladies, three years ago, I made one of my best fish recipes ever, Oaxacan spicy fish. It was a popular video and the recipe was delish. Now, oh, I've got to try it again. So I picked up all the ingredients. Ah, except, uh, you know which one, the fish. I'm gonna make my first cast right here off the dock. There are gale force winds today, but this is my only chance to fish this week. I can't hold the boat in one place for long, so I'll start with this lure. It's a 1 8 ounce spinner bait. I can reel this really fast, then reposition the boat before it blows into the shore, and then cast again. Let's get out on the water. Oh, he's so little. Let me tell you about the little ones. We had an, an electroshock survey done on this lake and the biologist said to get rid of them, take them all out of the lake. So that's what I'm going to do. And you know what? That suits me fine. I could do the recipe with these guys. Nice one. Oh, don't fall off. Ah, yes, I got one. A nice eating fish. Ooh, it had been quite a while. 11 and three quarters, perfect. We need to remove this size, yet it's a great size for our recipe. <laughs> a little guy, <laughs> an eater. That's all I have to say. I haven't seen this much algae on Lake Ketchabiguan in like 23 years. And I think it's due to the diminishing number of grass carp. Grass carp don't like algae, but they'll eat it when there's nothing else left. Got one right at the boat. This one's going in the frying pan. Oh no, we're not doing that recipe. Well, I'm cooking them. I haven't been catching any bass, so I'm gonna try this little grub. I think I was using it just last week. Got one. <laughs> it worked on the very first cast. Mm, that's a good eating bluegill. I'm keeping them. I got one. Wow, the bluegill are biting. Wow, that's a healthier specimen. That's what I'm looking for. That'll work out great for this recipe. <laughs> oh, now we're talking. That's a bluegill. Not only is it huge, look at the color. Huh. 
<laughs> Looky here, I don't know how many fish I have here, but the bluegill saved the day when the bass fishing was really disappointing. So let's get back in the house, fillet these guys, and tomorrow it's Oaxacan spicy fish. Yesterday wasn't great for bass fishing, but by adding bluegill, we now have this, looky, over a pound and a half of these really nice little fish fillets. I'm anxious to start on our Oaxacan spicy fish, but first, let's do a quickie guacamole. Hey, this looks ripe. Let's mash it up good. Well, well. Mash it well. I'm putting in a quarter cup of chopped onions, red ones. I've got 10 to 12 grape tomatoes sliced up here. You gotta have tomatoes. I like adding these chopped green chili peppers. Now I've got lime juice here. About a teaspoon. Freshly squeezed lime juice. Here's some cilantro. Couple teaspoons of cilantro. Look, this is my trick. I'm putting a couple tablespoons of sour cream into this. It makes it creamy and rich. Here goes a half teaspoon of salt, some black pepper, at least a quarter teaspoon. Here goes a half teaspoon of garlic powder. That's it, we're done. <laughs> we're done. We're on to the fish. This is so easy, you're gonna laugh. We're gonna turn the oven on to 350, that's all. I'm supposed to make a sauce for our fish with this. Chipotle's in adobo sauce and one other ingredient, mayonnaise. Just over a half cup of mayonnaise and I've got three of those uh, chipotle peppers in adobo sauce. Now I'm adding the mayonnaise. Wish me luck. I'm going to blend everything. Looking good. What I'm trying to do is divide our fish into fourths. So that one fourth of the fish will go into a foil package. So there'll be four foil packages. Let's salt and pepper our fish now. Freshly squeezed lime juice. Look, just drizzle it all over. So much easier than trying to squeeze. And now our chipotle mayo sauce. I'm gonna paint it on. You've seen me paint fish before. I got a big Vidalia onion, a really big one. And look what I did, I sliced it. So I've got these slices and I'm just gonna cover them. Okay, eh, maybe just add a little cilantro now. And then of course later after it's cooked, the cilantro is more effective. Let's try to tent this up. I'm not sure how, but we'll figure it out. Fold this over here, fold that over there. Fold up the sides, or the, the front, the sides, the back, I don't know. But there, look, look how simple. Do that four times, put it in the oven. I put our foil packets on a baking sheet. They barely fit, but they're going in the oven now for 14 minutes. Let's see what happens while our fish is cooking away in the oven. I have to tell you, I'm excited because that famous restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks, is on her way over for dinner here tonight. Well, you probably all know that we've been seeing each other for over 50 years, but she hasn't even admitted yet that she loves me. You see, I get a special sensation whenever she's close to me and I think she's feeling it too. I'm sure that's love. It's been 14 minutes. Let's see what we've got. I'm going to open one of these packages. Ah, 
the great unveiling. Oh, that looks good. Oh, it smells great. Oh, magnificent. Once again, I have the honor to be with the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. And thank you so much for joining me here at my uh, pitiful paltry uh, prefab. And uh, thank you for uh, indulging with me on my guacamole and Oaxacan spicy fish. And what did you think of them? I thought they were both very good. Of course, guacamole is always delicious. And the fish was very good. The oh. I liked it was moist. Mm -hmm. The the uh, sauce was hot but A little tasty. Spicy. But then the onions kind of toned it down. And then the uh, cilantro onions. was very good. Mm -hmm. It was all very nice. Thank you. It was, it was a lovely. nice, uh, a, yes. a nice fish dinner. It I was. Thought. It was. You know, Miss Cheeks. Oh, uh, we're familiar enough that I can call you <laughs> Lulu now. <laughs> I get a tingling uh, sensation whenever we're close like this, and I know it means something. Mm, that's common sense le leaving your body. Oh, um, can I have a hug?